Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code, link is in the description. So without any further ado, let's start this video. In the previous video series, we have completed section 1, section 2, section 3. Now, in this video, we will create section 4. So, this is the section 4. This is the section 4. So, let's go to our index.html file and write codes. Let's wrap up this section 3 and create another div with section 4 class okay create uh, another div with class content in this content add h2 element write newly added okay now h1 sushi samurai salmon cheese okay now use paragraph tag and add some text like 15 words now add an anchor tag which will we will use as button so add class button and right here order now and also add a icon that i will i show you i showed so i already teach you that how you can add an icon on your web page so follow that thing or you can follow me save it let's see what happened here So here it is our text and this button with the icon. <clears throat> after this, after the content div, add create another div with class image and add image here. Location images image six. Okay. Save it. Refresh it and the image 6 is here now style it let's go to our style.css file dot sec4 section 4 we are targeting so display flex i already told you that why we use display flex text line center and justify content space sorry space between okay now target section 4 dot image div and image element width must be 40 vw maximum width should be 700 pixel and margin top margin top minus 50 pixel so
this is how what is margin top minus 50 pixel like when we give margin top 50 pixels so that means it creates a space between that div okay when we give minus 50 pixel it means that the image goes up it uh, it takes that space 50 pixel like when we give 50 pixel space so the image will go down 50 pixel like here okay when we give minus 50 pixel the image goes up 50 pixel okay so this is the difference between 50 pixel and minus 50 pixel okay so now let's target our content so sec4 dot content width 50 vw and padding 7% let's see the difference nothing just space added now let's target h1 dot sec4 dot content and h1 color is to be rgb 57 33 and 55 okay font size should be 55 pixel and margin bottom 15 pixel font family cambria save it let's see our h1 this is our h1 now let's target sec4 dot content and paragraph color rgb 109 and margin bottom 30 pixel save it So here it is, 30 pixel bottom and change. Now it's time to target our H2. So sec hold and H2. Font family. Font family of this H2 is to be that we added from outside. So cursive and font size should be 30 pixel and color RGB 241, 147 and 73. Save it, refresh it. Okay, so here we have done with section 4. You can see this is same as it is. Okay, so we are done with our section 4. So we have completed, we have made or you can see we have created navbar, section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next video.